Hello everyone, and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. Fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on one side, over to the other side. Last stretch up at the top. And now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I hope that you're having a great day so far. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have to do three things. The first thing is to turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has buttons underneath my chin. So I'm going to button them up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick. Let's go over the date together. Up at the top of the chart, we have the month. Do you know what the month is? October. Today is October 22nd. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was October 21st, and today is October 22nd, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. The month of October is almost over, so let's see how many days are left in the month of October. Take out your counting fingers, We'll warm them up to give them a little stretch, and let's count together. After today, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We only have nine more days left in the month of October. If you keep your nine fingers up like this, but you take away two fingers, one, two. Now you have seven fingers left, and it looks like we're ready to sing the Day of the Week song. Sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go over the days of the week together. So listen for the sound that the day starts with, and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was th Thursday. That means that today is th Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be th Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's sing Today is Friday together, and then we'll go over the season. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Back up at the top of the chart, we have the season. Friends, there are two ways to say the season. You can say that it's fall but you can also say that it's autumn. When I look outside of my window right now, I see that almost all of the leaves are off of the trees. Although I do see a few colorful leaves still holding on to the branches. Let's sing the weather song together before we share what we see outside of our window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Well, if you look at my picture, you can see that the rain is falling at my house today. When I look outside of my window, the sky is white and gray with stratus clouds, and I see the rain lightly falling. It's kind of a drizzle. My temperature chart is on light blue today because it's chilly, chilly and rainy. What about you, friends? Do you have the same weather as me, or is there something different outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this capital letter. What sound does this letter make? N. And what capital letter is this? N. You're right. This is an uppercase N. N says N. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. I know that it's something that starts with the letter N, N. Here's your first clue. This is something that you use when you're eating dinner. You can use it to clean your hands or wipe your mouth. Usually it's made out of cloth, but sometimes it's made out of paper. Hmm, what could it be? Let's take a look. This is a napkin. So whenever I eat, I make sure that I have my napkin close by. I keep it on my lap and I can use it to wipe my mouth or to wipe my hands off. At my house, we use cloth napkins because when they get dirty or when we're finished using them, instead of throwing them into the trash, I can just wash them in the laundry and then they're ready to use again. Napkin starts with the letter N, N. This is how you write an uppercase N, N. One more time. And here is the number of the week. This will also be the last time talking about this double digit number. What number is it? 21. That's right. When you write the number 21, first you write the number two, and then you write the number one. Two, one. 21. Let's count to the number 21 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 21 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, one. Two tens, one unit, 21. We have one more thing to count today inside of the number box. Let me take a look and I'll gather them all up. I have some acorn tops today, which we'll be counting together. And I'll be making two rows. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And one more makes 21. 21 acorn tops. This week we learned how to say science in sign language. Will you show me how to do that? That's right. Science. Today we are going to talk about friction, which is a type of a force. Friction is everywhere, even though you can't necessarily see it. Friction is a force that acts in the opposite direction that an object wants to move. Here are a few examples of friction. Drilling a nail into wood, 
using brakes to stop a moving bike, lighting a match, and going down a slide. So these examples of friction may be a little tricky to visualize. So let me show you exactly how friction works. Let's go. For today's work, you will need a funnel, a plastic or a glass bottle that's full of rice, and a chopstick. So I used my funnel and I poured the rice into the top of the funnel and it went down into the plastic jar. And now that the bottle is full of rice, I'm going to remove the funnel and I'm just going to give the bottle a few light taps just to make sure that all the rice is in place. Next, I'm going to take the chopstick and I'm going to poke it into the bottle of rice like this. Then I'm going to use my finger and just press down on the rice just to make sure that any extra pockets of air are released. And the last thing that I'm going to do is lift the chopstick up. Now watch carefully and see if you notice what happens when I lift up the chopstick. On the count of three, one, two, three. Wow, look at this. When I lift the chopstick up, I'm also lifting the bottle of rice. Now, in order to release the chopstick, I'm just going to give it a little twist and it comes right out. The reason why I was able to lift up the bottle of rice using the chopstick is because of friction. And we'll talk right about, we'll talk more about that as soon as we get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. The work that I just showed you was an example of friction. When I added the chopstick into the bottle, the rice grains pushed back against the chopstick, creating friction. And this is why I was able to lift the bottle of rice by holding on to just the chopstick. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Join me next week as we begin a new sensorial unit. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you back on Monday. Goodbye, everyone.